Hi everybody, welcome to my channel today. For those of you who are my regular subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel today, my name is Justine. I am in my 40s and I live on the west coast of Canada. And I post videos a couple of times a week and I do beauty items, lifestyle, a little bit of fashion, um, beauty hauls. I buy a lot of stuff from Sephora, so I often do reviews on makeup that I've purchased and give you my top picks. So if that's something that interests you, then please hit the subscribe button and be part of my family. And don't forget the notification bell so you stay up to date with all my latest videos. Now on to today's video. I thought I would put together some of my top um, items that I pull out for every single summer. Some of the items I use all year round, but there are certain things that I use only in the summertime. So I thought, why don't I share some of those items with you today? And rather than, it started getting bigger and bigger and bigger, so I thought I'm gonna cut it down to 10 items and show you my top things that I like. And then I'll show you a couple of products that I use out of that 10 category. So the first two things I just wanna quickly say is you would probably think sunglasses would be in here and sandals. Now, I do wear sunglasses, but I have been wearing the same Oakley sunglasses for probably 15 years. <laughs> I've had the lenses replaced twice. Um, I just love them. They just fit me so comfortably. I do have a lot of beautiful fashion sunglasses. I have a gorgeous pair of Tom Ford ones, but I don't wear them a lot because it actually hurt my nose, hurt my ears, so I'm not gonna suggest them to you. And the Oakley pair that I have are, like I said, 100 years old, you can't even get them anymore, and they're not exactly fashionable. The second thing is, this, is the sandals, and as many beautiful sandals that I see that are on the market, I always stick to my Birkenstocks. I know, I know, it's terrible, but I just like comfort. Um, and that's what I wear, and they are kind of stylish. Uh, if I'm going out somewhere special, of course, I will wear something nice, but for my every day-to-day -day life, I wear stop sorry. So anyway, let's get started with some of my products, and the first thing I'm going to mention is self-tan. Now, I personally am a sun worshiper. I used to sit outside with no sunscreen, with sun in, in my hair, baby oil on my skin with iodine. I love the sun. I used to go in tanning booths, you name it. So it's very, very difficult for me to not go in the sun anymore. So I have to rely on self-tan. And I've tried many self-tan products and by far the best is the Saint Tropez line for me. Um, I tend to have an olivey undertone to my skin, so this color works really, really well for me. It has kind of a green <laughs> tinge, uh, so it works really, really well. If you have a pink undertone to your skin, I would try the Vita Liberata. It's a really, really nice comparable product to this one, but that one is too red for my skin tone, so I, I don't particularly like that one. But this one is fantastic. I prefer the dark version. It comes in a black bottle, but I only have the regular one at the moment because I got this for a deal at Winners, so I bought it. Um, and I use two coats because I love it um, really, really dark. <laughs> and I use this probably once a week. Now, in between tans, um, because it is a big palava, I'm not gonna lie, you have to do a body scrub and then you put this on it. I do it at night and then wash it off in the morning. In the middle of the week, I will use the Gradual Tan Body Lotion. It is a fabulous body lotion in general. Um, moisturizes your skin beautifully, but it also gives you a nice subtle glow, so it kind of maintains your tan for the week. Typically, this one will last five days, um, but I like to stretch it out for a week. So in between, I use this. This is empty. This is from my empties. I do need to buy another one, but it's expensive. <laughs> just haven't bought it yet so I'm just waiting for some sort of deal or something I don't know what I'm waiting for but I always have this in my cupboard especially in the summertime because it helps maintain a little bit of a tan now for the face I apologize to all my North American friends because I cannot find this anywhere in North America it's a Garnier product from the drugstore but I bought it in the UK because a YouTuber that I watched that is from the UK recommended it. She said it works on the face beautifully and I have to agree. And I use retinol and retin-A products. So every time you put on any self-tan, by the morning it's gone. So it's kind of counterproductive. However, this one does last um, even though I use my retinol products and that's what this gal mentioned and that's what intrigued me to try it. And it's 
very inexpensive from the drugstore. It's just a mist that you spray on and it's just fantastic if you can get your hands on it. Now the next item is bronzers. Now I use bronzers year round but in the summertime I amp it up and I'd have to say my two showstopper bronzers right now are from Becca. These are these gradient um, bronzers. I actually did a full review on them. I'll link that below if you want to see. These are hands down my favorite two bronzers. They are a little bit shimmery um, if you don't like that and it just ticks all the boxes. This one is a lighter one. I actually use this one more as a blush, but it is a nice bronze as well, and this is a nice heavy duty bronze. And on the outer corners is highlights, and I've been using these as blush, highlight, and eyeshadow. They're just fantastic. So if you can get, a hand, your, get your hands on these, because I believe they are limited edition, you won't be disappointed. I think there's also a Chrissy Teigen one that's coming out, and I'm gonna get that one as well. Another one that I really enjoy and is from the drugstore is Butter Bronzer. I've heard so much about it, but I'm always reluctant to buy um, drugstore items because sometimes they're not cheap and there's no return policy at most drugstores and then I'm usually out of pocket. So I was reluctant to try this and then it came on sale and I just thought, you know, I'm going to give it a try and it is fantastic. I can see what all the hype is about and it is a shimmery color. Um, I just really enjoy it and it smells amazing. Another one that I bought after much hype is the Marc Jacobs one. Now this is a um, matte bronzer, so there's no shimmer. It's okay, it's a very nice bronzer. I think why I'm kind of eh about it is because it was just so much hype. You gotta get it, you gotta get it, you gotta get it. It came out last year, sold out immediately, and it was limited edition. So everyone just went nuts, including myself when it came out, um, was recently launched in April. I did get it and I was like, I see, I got, I literally bought this in the middle of the night. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, so I think that's why I'm a little irked that it wasn't this be all end all. I think these Becca ones are nicer. But anyway, that is a very nice bronzer. You get tons of product. It's a nice big mirror. It's great for travel. Another bronzing item that I really like is this one from By Terry. It's actually a serum. I'm wearing it today and you could literally wear it on its own. It just gives you a nice shimmery, almost like a tinted moisturizer. I am wearing foundation on top today just because I was filming and I didn't want, didn't want to scare you guys. <laughs> um, it's just a beautiful bronze um, shimmer. So this comes in four colors, but this is the only bronze one and it's called Sunny Flash. It's pretty difficult to get your hands on in Canada. I had to order mine, I think, from Nordstrom or maybe Cult Beauty in the UK, um, and it's often sold out. I even went to Nordstrom in Vancouver to try and buy it, and it was sold out. It's just hard. It was hard for me to get my hands on anyway, um, but I did eventually get it. It smells amazing. It is a skincare treatment. It's just an all-round beautiful product if you just want a light, shimmery glow, and you don't want to wear a lot of foundation or no, you can even wear no foundation. It's very, very nice. Now, the next thing that we all need is sunscreen. And as I mentioned before, I never wore sunscreen. My face was just all sun damaged. It was actually so sun damaged that it just looked like I was permanently bronzed. So I actually didn't really mind. Um, I went to a dermatologist and they said, do you realize how much sun damage you have on your face? So I did a chemical peel treatment and all that sun damage is gone, thankfully. So I want to keep it that way. So I'm always careful to protect my skin. Now, I'm also an oily skin person and I have a tendency to have acne and clogged pores. So using my skincare and then a sunscreen on top of that freaks me out. So I do have two products. Um, one of them is the Aubergine one, and this is a 50 sunscreen. Now I do use the Aubergine skincare line, so I, I am safe wearing this one, and I'm not too concerned about wearing this particular sunscreen from this brand. And I did get in my FabFitFun box this Kula one that I have been very interested to try. As you can see, I haven't opened it yet because I've been dealing with so many breakouts and I'm trying so hard to clear up my skin. I'm just terrified 
of putting any excess products that I don't need and having further breakouts. So what I've been leaning towards doing is having my sunscreen and my foundation built in one. Now my favorite product to do that is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. Now I mentioned in a video I did last year of cult favorites that I just didn't catch on with and I included it I included this product in there and even though I had used it a ton of times I just wasn't that impressed so maybe my skin has changed because I revisited it and I am in love it just gives my skin such a dewy finish it's a beautiful um, foundation it also has an illuminating version if you prefer that I've tried both and I actually prefer this one because it does give my skin a nice dewy look and it has a 50 sunscreen in it so to me this is just a no-brainer I use this one every day that I know I'm going to be out especially if I'm kind of unsure what my day is gonna turn out like. Um, we had family visiting and we would go out shopping and then it turns out we would go to a patio and have some lunch and I'd be out in the sun. So I was always prepared with a sunscreen um, wearing a 50. So I was very, very happy with that. Previous to this product, I used to use the Jane Ardell Glow Time. And I would say these are on par as far as the coverage, the glow, the dewiness, the beautiful coverage. This one didn't really last as long on my skin. It would last a couple hours and then it would start kind of separating. Um, this is a waterproof um, foundation and this S SPF is only a 25, but this really is a beautiful sunscreen product. I was introduced to this um, at my dermatologist's office, so it comes highly recommended by them. Now Jane Iredale also has two other products that I've used and I happen to own and they are powder mineral foundations. I have one in a compact and one in a loose powder. Now I'm not a huge fan of loose powders. Um, I've mentioned some of my videos, they tend to make me look older and cakey and dry. So I kind of avoid them, but I do keep this one on hand. It even has a little mirror. You could throw this in a beach bag if you're heading to the beach and it opens like this and even has a kind of a puff thing to just dab it on if you are in a pinch and you need to apply some sun, extra sunscreen. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm out, I don't like applying stuff like this on top of my makeup. You oily skin girls probably know what I'm talking about. So this is a perfect alternative. It's a mineral sunscreen as well, which is really nice. And there's so many products like this on the market. I even saw one at Costco. It was in a stick form um, and it had a brush on the end and you could just pop that in your handbag or beach bag. My dermatologist said he even uses this because there's a translucent one and he says as a man, he pops this on when he's at the beach as well. I also picked it up in a compact form and this is so handy to keep in my purse because it's nice and slim. It's a nice little mirror, if anything. Um, and then it's got the SPF powder in there as well. So I can just pat this on if I'm in a pinch and I'm out and don't have any sunscreen or I need to reapply. So these two are great for on the go. These are also, this one's um, a foundation and so is this. You could wear it as a mineral foundation, but I'm not crazy about powder foundations on my particular skin type. So the next thing is I am a fragrance junkie. I love perfumes, but sometimes in the summertime, I don't necessarily want to wear a heavy scent. So I do have some nice summery scents, but for the most part, I love to wear body sprays. Now, one in particular that I really, really love is this um, Brazilian Crush by um, Sol de Janeiro. This is the bum bum smell. Um, it is just a gorgeous tropical scent. If you've never smelled it, go into Sephora and give it a smell. It's, you can't explain it. It's a beautiful tropical scent. It's not like your traditional coconut vanilla. It's just a, a signature scent that you just have to smell to find out. It isn't super, super long lasting, but it is a beautiful summery scent if you don't want something heavy. One that's a little bit more inexpensive is from Bath & Body Works and it's called At The Beach. Same thing, it's just a beautiful tropical-y smell. It reminds me a lot of On The Beach, I think it's called, by Replica. Is that what it's called? On The Beach, I'm pretty sure. 
Um, this one's at the beach. Um, anyway, it kind of reminds me of that. I know it's not the same, but that per perfume is $150, so I haven't splurged for that one. I have tried it on in Sephora, and I find it's not super long-lasting, even though some of their other scents I find will last all day. That one doesn't in particular. So I opted for the less expensive version, and I'm just as happy. Another body spray that I really, really enjoy is from the brand Lolia. Um, my mother-in-law actually introduced me to this. It's just a small brand. It's usually sold at fine boutiques, so it's a little unique. This one in particular is lavender and honey. I don't get any lavender scent, but I do get the honey scent. And if you've seen some of my previous videos, I love the scent of honey. Not real honey, but the fragrance scent of honey. It's just such a soft, um, pretty scent. And this one does last quite a long time. It's so lovely. I have quite a few things from this line. So if you haven't seen it before, I would definitely check them out. Now, I always love a little bit of body shimmer. Um, there are quite a few glow oils on the market, and I've yet to find one that I've been happy with. Um, there is the Tom Ford one. I've never bought it, but I haven't heard great reviews about it, and it's so expensive. So I've never bought that one, but I did try the um, Sol de Janeiro, the Copa, I bought the Coca Cabana bronze, and I was really disappointed. It was really greasy, sticky, and it did transfer on my clothes, and it wasn't super bronzy. It gave me a beautiful shimmer, it smelled amazing, but if they transfer, I'm not happy. So I like to stick to something easy, and one of them is this. It's the uh, Natasha Denona Body Glow, and it is a highlighter for your body. And I got this idea from Tati. She actually uses just regular highlighters and just brushes them. I should have brought a brush so I could show you. And just brushes them on her shoulders and her collarbone. You have no transfer. I mean, maybe a little bit of shimmer, um, but not color. And this just gives you a beautiful glow along your um, decollete and your shoulders. You could put it on your legs. It's just very, very lovely, and it's not gonna be greasy or sticky. So I've been really enjoying this, but you could use any highlighter that you have in your collection and that you enjoy. Um, you can also get body products, like I mentioned the glow oils, but the Bum Bum Cream also has a tiny bit of shimmer to it. It's very, very pretty. Um, this is just a sample size, and this also is a shimmering body product as well. This is kind of a champagne color, and it's called the Super Bod Supermodel um, body and it's from Charlotte Tilbury and this also has a bit of a subtle shimmer but it's a little bit on the pricey side and I just saved this little sample size for special occasions and while I was in Bath and Body Works I found this one that is a dry mist and it is really really pretty it's um, in the scent of At the Beach which was this body spray I mentioned to you guys and it it's really nice I'm I'm quite surprised it just gives you a nice bit of shimmery glow. It is an aerosol, um, but it smells really nice and it's just a subtle, I mean right now it's wet, but you'll see it's really, really pretty. It'd be nice to spray on your legs and all that kind of stuff. So those ones are definitely my top picks. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. Um, so the next one is purple shampoo for me. You need to uh, get that brassiness out when you're out in the sun. I really should be using a UV protectant. I don't have one, so if you guys can recommend a good UV, UV spray for your hair, I'd greatly appreciate it, because um, I could do some research, but I haven't really heard anybody talking about them. So these products are from Unite. It smells amazing. It smells like grape. I just love it. It keeps my hair um, tone good because my hair will go brassy. My hair tends to pull gold very, very easily. So I like to use this about once a week. It's a gorgeous shampoo and conditioner. The Unite line is just fabulous if you haven't tried it before. And now I see it's being sold at Chatters, which is a... Um, hair discount hair product store that's in Canada at least I know and now they're selling it there so that's a huge bonus. I used to always have to order this online or get it from my hairdresser's salon. So if you have color treated hair I highly recommend um, putting a purple shampoo into your regime um, at least once a week. There's quite a few good ones on the market um, but this Unite one is definitely my top pick of my favorite. Now 
in the summer months you need to keep hydrated. I drink a ton of water. I drink tons of water all year round. I drink, uh, I try to drink at least four or five. It's probably closer to three in the summer months, maybe a bit more. So I always take my water to go. Now, I in the summertime, your car is boiling hot. I don't want to carry these big containers around with me, so I always keep a drink in my car, and I want it to stay cold. So I've got this Big Daddy. This is Hydro Flask. This will literally keep your drink cold for 12 hours. I even bought one for my brother, who lives in Australia, and he drives a lot for his job, so his drinks are always warm. I sent one to him, and he says it literally keeps his drink cold. So he absolutely loves it. Now this one I use mostly for the gym because it's a big daddy. And what I don't like about this big one is it doesn't fit in my cup holder and I don't want water bottles rolling around in my vehicle. So I did purchase the smaller one and it fits nicely into my cup holder. And they come in all different types of lids. This is a flip top lid. This one in particular is a straw lid. So you can get all different types, whatever kind you like. And then I also bought one um, from the brand Yeti um, because I like the pink. And this one is a removable straw, which I also really like. It fits in my cup holder, which is fantastic. And this is the exact same quality as my Hydro Flask. They're great. The one thing I'm a little concerned about is if this lid would pop off. I've never had it fall off, but I just don't trust it. So um, I always make sure I keep it upright. Whereas these guys, I've never had leaking problems. But... I haven't had a problem, I'm just nervous. But I highly recommend these bottles, especially if you live somewhere where it's super hot and you're in your vehicle or like to always keep something cool to drink in your car. Now, the next thing is we need deodorant. <laughs> um, and in the summertime, we tend to sweat a bit more or if you're somebody who's at the gym a lot and looking for a good deodorant but want something natural. Um, I'm really freaked out about um, aluminum and all that kind of stuff. I lost a family member to dementia and I know they've said in Alzheimer's it's related to aluminum. I don't know, it's never been proven, but it freaks me out. Um, so I've always been on the hunt for a good natural um, deodorant and I've tried many and not much luck. I use the ones from Sephora La Vanilla used a couple others, I can't think what they are at the top of my head. And somebody on YouTube recommended this one called Schmitz. They sell this on Amazon and I often find it at Winners. It is amazing. The one I have here is lavender and sage and I've already even bought a backup because I do not want to be without this deodorant. Now it is a traditional stick deodorant so you will get the white. So make sure you get dressed first and then put it on. Um, but it lasts there's i have no smell it's just a fabulous deodorant i use this even when i was working out at the gym all the time it's really really great and if you're concerned about aluminum and all that kind of stuff i also have an issue with um, antiperspirants like ones that are heavy duty they actually will block my sweat glands i've actually had lumps under my um, armpits before and it's because my sweat glands were clogged so that also freaks me out so I'm all for a natural deodorant and I highly highly recommend this one the next one um, even though I'm wearing Birkenstocks I want nice soft supple feet that look nice without always having to go for pedicures um, I do go every couple of months but I don't go as often as I probably should so I need to keep my feet in check and I do that by using this Sol de Janeiro Samba Foot Cream. It is fabulous and it smells amazing. Um, they've actually changed the formula. They haven't announced that, but I know they have because I've been using this product for a long time. And it's actually even better. It's more of a creamy formula and they've changed the scent to the, the uh, Signature Bum Bum. So it smells amazing. It sinks into your feet immediately. You don't have any greasy feet and it makes your feet look gorgeous and ready for sandals and beach weather. So I highly recommend this foot cream and I've tried many foot creams and this one is far, by far the best. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. And every time I've bought it, it always comes with a really nice foot file as well. I don't know if that's um, gonna happen forever, but for now they do include that with the cream, which is also a nice little bonus. And last but not least, even our lips need sunscreen. And most lipsticks don't have sunscreen, 
So I came across these fresh sugar tinted lip balms because I have a lip allergy and for a while there I wasn't wearing any lipsticks until I figured out what was going on and at that time this is all I could wear. So I actually have a million of them in different colors. Um, these ones are my favorite, the nude, the honey, and the petal. It's just a nice pink. But they have a huge range of colors to choose from. They're just a gorgeous tinted balm for your lips. So if you're heading outside but don't want to wear a lot of makeup but you want to protect your lips, definitely give these a try. I always have them in my handbag just in case. Um, they're also just a beautiful lip color, nice and moisturizing, a nice lip balm. But they're a little bit on the pricey side, but um, they definitely are worth it if you're using the sunscreen aspect. So I always make sure I have these and take them with me on all my vacations, especially if you're on the beach and aren't wearing a full face of makeup, but just want a little bit of color and also protecting your lips at the same time. So anyway, that concludes my top 10 picks for summer. These are some of my favorite things that I like to use, especially during the summer months. So I hope you found it interesting or helpful or um, maybe some of these products you already use or maybe you can give me some suggestions of things that you use in the summer that I might enjoy. So anyway, that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye!